an hours long manhunt resulting in his arrest just yesterday along with the arrest of his girlfriend. Fox 10 News Ball and County reporter Hal Sherrick finding out a prior felony conviction will bring more charges. Daphne police say they've now recovered 13 yes. guns in all and say they believe Chance Crossett stole each of them over a period of a week or more. At the time of his arrest yesterday, seven guns had been recovered, including ones reported stolen from Orange Beach, Okaloosa, and Santa Rosa counties. Police say six additional guns were found by a citizen. We have located some more firearms that were in a uh, in a garage in the historic Malbus neighborhood. A lady found those in there. Apparently, they were put there. Uh, by Mr. Crossett. Daphne police also say Crossett tried to break into at least two homes during his crime spree. Surveillance video from homes in the neighborhood show a man believed to be Crossett sneaking through backyards and peering through windows. Residents were asked to stay in their homes while the search played out yesterday. After going through that and then hearing what the suspect had done, residents say it's shocking. I think that we all make mistakes, but I think that if you're going to have the right to own a gun, it also comes with the responsibilities that you need to uh, lock your stuff up and, and be vigilant with yourself and your family. Along with the guns, police say they also found camera equipment. They found a stun gun and $640 in cash. Investigators say the Chance Cross it has a prior felony burglary conviction out of North Alabama, which prohibits him from carrying a firearm. They say he'll be charged with that along with seven counts of breaking and entering motor vehicle. Reporting live in Malbus, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.